Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna take a look at some Masters of the Universe bootlegos. <laughs> if you're not familiar with what a bootlego is, it's kind of like a fun term that's been coined for these, which are unlicensed Chinese knockoffs. So these are not officially Lego products. These are not official Masters of the Universe products. For all intents and purposes, these are bootlegs. And if you've been following this Lego scene at all, the minifigure scene, you'll know that this has been a very prominent thing as of late. In fact, the Chinese knockoffs have been covering all sorts of crazy properties that will probably never actually get the official Lego treatment. So that's pretty interesting. And while I haven't picked up a lot of these myself, I couldn't resist the set of Masters of the Universe minifigures in the style of Lego because, let's face it, we're probably never going to get actual Masters of the Universe Lego minifigures, and I'm a big fan of the property, so how could I pass these up? Now I know, it's technically bootlegs, these are questionable, so purchasing these, I'm not going to really tell you guys to run out and buy these, that's going to be totally at your own advisement. If it's something that you feel like you want to do, go for it man. But let's go ahead and take a look at these. Let's check out these little bootleg minifigures here because you can see there are a lot of them representing various characters from Masters of the Universe. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right on in here. We're gonna check these out. And to be perfectly honest, I was a little surprised by the quality because the quality is pretty decent on these guys. And several of them came with multiple parts and accessories. We'll start with He-Man himself. Now, He-Man is actually one of the least interesting of these. <laughs> um, his face is pretty ridiculous. I mean, look at that. That little frowny face there, just a little straight, like the black eyes. And the hair looks hilarious. But just like with uh, actual Lego minifigures, um, you have to put them together. So, like, the hair had to clip on. Uh, you can see that the armor is like a separate piece. I love this because it's, it's not complete on his back. But you can see it's all printed on there. It's really interesting. Um, they kind of painted the front of the legs to make it look like he's wearing a loincloth, but the paint's not super great there. You can see on the back, it just looks like he's wearing pants, which is funny. But his accessories are great because he came with the power sword. He came with the shield. Look at that. They did a good job of actually matching up to, uh, you know, the classic toy there. And we even have his little battle axe. So if you want to give him the battle axe, you've got that too. And each of these figures came with their own little figure stand, which is pretty incredible. Uh, let's go ahead and go through a bunch of the heroes here first. So then we got Tila. Tila with her snake armor there. So look at that. We can pop the snake armor off the head, which kind of reveals just like a little white bodice underneath there. Um, I'm hoping that the... You can see the way they kind of did the body there. If this is actually supposed to be the size of her waist, and this isn't just supposed to be like some sort of shading, she's got a ridiculously skinny waist, which doesn't quite match up with the hips. So that's kind of funny. I do love the metallic gold paint they use, though, down here. I think that is pretty cool. And she's got Ka. She's got her snake staff, which is really awesome. So, pretty fun little Tila figure there. This one is ridiculous. Stratosh! Stratosh! I always love doing the 2000X voice for him. So, look at this. I love this because underneath his helmet, he's got a face, which I have no idea what's going on there. They, they just obviously interpreted whatever kind of face they wanted to for Stratos. But even the helmet is hilarious because, like, it's got his little beard just kind of, like, as part of the helmet. And it's painted silver for some reason. Uh, it's really, really goofy. You can see they got this little blue pack that's on his back there. Um, and then, look, he's got the little wings. The wings aren't made very well. Um, they're very loose, and they just kind of clip on around the wrists. But, you know, he's recognizable, right? You look at him, and he looks like Stratos. <laughs> Uh, here we go. The Sorceress is actually a pretty great one. I actually really like the way they made the wings. So you'll notice, they, I mean, like, they totally just created their own parts and everything for this, which is really incredible. So you're getting a lot of stuff that you can't get, like, you know, just out of Lego. You can't just build your own figures that look exactly like this. So it's pretty neat what they did. They even gave her the little staff and everything there. Uh, Man at Arms is kind of next level for a bootleg figure. Um, and this is why. First of all, I mean, he looks pretty great. Look, look, they even got the leg armor painted on that side and not over here. So he's got, he's got armor that clips onto his arm on this side, which is amazing. And he's wearing his helmet, but this is what I'm talking about next level. Look at this. He has two different faces. With mustache or without mustache. How ridiculous is that for a bootleg to go far enough to give you... Filmation Man at Arms or Toy Man at Arms. That is kind of unbelievable that they did that. I was actually pretty shocked and surprised by that. <laughs> 
Ram Man is one that just turned out really goofy looking as a Lego. So you can take the helmet off there. You can see he's kind of got the same angry face as He-Man. It's not much different. They gave him this really big shoulder armor there. But look, they've even got the little skull on his belt. I mean, it's it's impressive, you know, the little details that they put on these guys. The helmet does look pretty funny on him, though. Uh, Manny faces. So here's one where, like, I talked about Man at Arms being next level. Man at Arms, or Manny faces here, I feel like, well, they got a little lazy. And I know that's funny because it's a bootleg after all. But, you know, like, they gave Man at Arms two different faces. Manny faces, the guy who should have multiple faces, only has the one. There's no other. You can take the helmet off and you can see they only put one face on there. I understand maybe there's not enough room to do all three faces, but come on, you could have at least given me another face on the back. Give me the monster face or something so that I could spin it around in the helmet if I wanted to, but nope, we don't get to do that with Manny faces. I do love the armor and the helmet they created for him though, and look, he's got his cool little uh, orange gun there, <laughs> which is pretty amazing, so that's, that is fun stuff. And then the last one over here, I guess could be a hero, could be neutral, however you want to look at him, but we got Zodak. And I was really kind of uh, surprised because they did give him the darker skin tone. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like 2000X Zodak or original. It almost is like an amalgamation of both of them because he's kind of wearing the classic outfit. Uh, also, they gave him a shield. So I guess he has a shield now. Um, but I do like the helmet there. I think that's pretty cool. So there's there's our Zodak. So let's look at our evil warriors. Skeletor is a masterpiece. <laughs> I just love it. I think he's so great. I mean, look at that. He's got the purple hood there. And... Uh, Oh, the, hell, the, the hell, head is so tight in there. Oh, no! Just throwing the head all around here. So the head's just like so tight in the hood. It doesn't even look like I'm going to be able to get that off now. <laughs> but uh, I love it because, look, they gave him the Havoc Staff. But they also gave him this sword that I'm guessing is kind of like the, uh, almost like the 2000X inspired sword. I don't know if that's quite what they were going for here. But it's, it's definitely what it reminds me of. Like his little sword that split in half. Um, but this is pretty cool. I love it. I love this little Skeletor. <laughs> yes! How about Evil Lynn? She turned out pretty great. Also, I love it because, the, you know, she's got the yellow skin, but that makes her look kind of like a classic Lego minifigure, which is kind of funny. Um, but, you know, she's she's just got the... Oh, the helmet stuck really on her, too. But I don't think... There was no hair or anything most, um, painted on there. She does have her staff, which is really great. And then this is an extra piece that fits over as well. But... Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. So Trap Jaw is a really interesting one. Um, first of all, he looks great. And I love how he's basically just like a skull face here. You see, look at that. Look at his face. He's like just got this skull face, which is so amazing. And then his jaw is actually on this little helmet. But the thing that's so crazy about him is, look, so like his, they, they created this whole new part for his like, his arm. And look, you can even change the hands on it. They didn't give me any extra pieces. It would have been really cool if there was interchangeable parts for that. But what was interesting about it is like you actually had to swap his arm out. So like he came with like a normal arm and I had to pop that off and put on his little trap jaw arm here. So, you know, that's that's just really crazy. The stuff they came up with for these guys. It's, it's really funny. Uh, back here in the back, we've got Beast Man. And he's another one that I don't feel like turned out super great just because the face is really funny. And this, he's another one. Let me see if I can get the, yeah, there you go. So, like, they got the full face painted on the head here underneath his, his helmet, which actually is supposed to complete his, like, you know, his furry head there. And I just popped one of his little shoulder things off. But you can see those just kind of fit right over the shoulders. And then his whip is really funny because it just kind of looks like this little hook. <laughs> but still, I mean, the colors and everything are great on there. And look, they did Faker. How amazing is that that they did Faker? I mean, he's basically just like you'd expect. He looks just like this He-Man, but he's blue and orange, and he's got the same power sword, and he's got the orange Skeletor armor, but it's perfect. It's amazing. And I don't think they had the little control panel on his chest. Um, actually, I don't even remember that now, and his head's stuck. Let me see. We gotta check, right? We gotta check. Let me take them all apart. Yeah, see, no panel on his chest, but oh well, it is a knockoff after all. <laughs> That's just so cool that they did Faker. I love it. The character selection is kind of amazing on these. Merman. He is another one that is hilarious because they created his head with just a helmet that you put over one of the regular heads here. And oh no, it's like really stuck. I really hope I can get it off so I can show you. I want to show you the face underneath, but this thing is like super stuck. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> so they actually gave him a face underneath. And for some reason, they've just got like the, like this is a helmet and not actually his face. I just think that is really funny. Like you can't even see the eyes. Like they got those open holes, but you can't even really see the eyes in there very well. 
I don't know. I thought that was funny. But they also gave him this cool little sword. You know, his hunk of corn. <laughs> That's what it always looks like. Uh, then we've got Triclops. And, you know, same with Manny Faces. I feel like they could have given us the different eyes painted on the head. Um, but what's really weird about this is, oh man, this is another one that's stuck. But the head underneath is just an eyeball. And then they created this weird green thing. I guess these over here are supposed to be like his other eyes. I don't know. He's another one that just didn't translate super well. And lastly, we've got Clawful. And this is another one where they really did some funny stuff with him. So first of all, he came with two big claws and two normal hands. So, you know, I made him the way he was in the vintage toy, so I gave him the smaller hand and the one big claw. But I guess if you wanted to, you can give him two big claws there. Um, and then he's got his little green club, but this is also what's really funny. Look at this. I mean, like, they basically painted a clawful face on the regular minifigure head, but then they also gave us this helmet to put on over the figure. Like, that is just completely ridiculous to me that they did that. They went that extra step. Because that almost looks fine, just the way it is, but nope. A step further, and you've got this full-on clawful head. <laughs> These are amazing. Uh, they're, they're super fun. And like I said, it's not like we're going to get actual Lego officially licensed Masters of the Universe figures. So, you know, I had to pick them up. I had to check them out. Uh, like I said, I know it's a little sketchy sometimes buying Chinese knockoff stuff. But seriously, if you just do a search on like eBay or something, you're going to find these things. Totally up to you guys if you want to check them out. But at least you got to see them here in this video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun little video. If you did, leave me a comment, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more fun toy videos just like this one. Until next time, my friends.